Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to play Minecraft with an Xbox 360 controller. Um, so what you first want to do is you want to open up this uh, this first website called nixtech.net and let this refresh. And now what you want to do is scroll down to the bottom where it says Windows 32-bit and Windows 64-bit. Uh, depending on what version you have. You can use 32 or 64 bit. I have 64 bit, so I'm going to click on 64 bit and let that download. And we're going to open it up. You have to open it up in Renoir 2. Now, what you want to do is you want to uh, you get a couple, you get four files, and now what you want to do is extract it and extract it to your desktop and hit OK. Now, if you minimize this and minimize the internet browser, we have four folders on our desktop. Now, you want to bring each one into uh, the X, X part, sorry, I can't say it right now, X, X data, whatever, I can't even say it anymore, uh, into the folder, and now it's, now they're all in one folder, um, and after that, open it up, and now you have all those folders together, and it has all the text documents and stuff like that, um, and all the documents that you need to download the uh, controller software too. Okay, now we want to minimize that, and then we want to go to another website called Microsoft Hardware. And then we want to go to Downloads, and then go down here to Downloads, and then go to Vi Windows Vista 64-bit for the version that you have. And then go down to Xbox 360 so Software 1.2, and then you want to download that. Let that download. Save it and let it download. And now we need to run it as administrative. Um, now, some of you, it will not happen. I mean, you don't have to do this, but I have to do it for security purposes on my computer. And now you want to select yes, I agree, next. Let that download. We'll speed that up. Going to speed that up in a little bit. And then when that's done, finish. And then that's it. Now you want to minimize your internet browser and go to start or and hit all programs. Or you, sorry, my mistake. You want to hit your uh, folder on your desktop, right click. Now you don't have to do this for some, but most people have to hit properties. And go over to, to compatibility and then click the ch click this ch uh, the checked box. And then you want to open that up and hit Windows Vista and hit Apply and then hit OK. And then you want to click on it, hit Allow, Start, Programs, and uh, Allow. And now I don't have it right now. It's because I don't have my US, my Xbox 360 controller plugged in. So I will go get that very shortly. But we just have to... Uh, let that download. But first, we're going to open up our Xbox 360 accessory that we downloaded. And we want to click that. Let that open. Now, I don't have my Xbox 360 controller plugged in, so it's not actually locating it. So um, if I go get that, um, I'll be back in a second and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, guys, now we're back. Uh, now I have my Xbox 360 controller plug in, and now it should look like that. And then, so yeah, and then you want to click on this little square, hit open, and then you want to go and open up your the folder, hit OK. And now, as you can see, we have our Xbox 360 control buttons, and making and now making sure that they all work. And now you can see that they're all fully functional. Now, and then after that, you're going to hit this tiny square and hit open all, and then hit the file that's in there, and open that. And now you have all the controls for Minecraft the game. You have walk, move from right to left, um, you can go up and down, escape, talk, 
you have all those features just like you would in the control. Now, if you hit this tiny square and go to settings, you can change how fast you move around um, your analog stick. So I would change it to roughly about 80. It's just the right speed. And that's what I would use. It just it makes uh, your Minecraft experience just a lot better. So I'm just going to change that to 80. Now, you're going to want to do the same thing to the left deep to the left analog stick too. You can't just do it to the one because then they'll be off uh, topic and I mean off uh, motion and then they won't really work. So that's pretty much it for today guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment if it um, if you liked the video. I li try to at least get at least 50 likes if I can. And uh, if you liked it and you want more, subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks guys.